Hi there, valued listener. It's another spooky night in the corona-infested world. And to make things even spookier, you've tuned into our podcast, A Spook A Day. Why? Because you're lonely and you crave human voices to fill the void. In case you're a first-time spooker, we spend an hour every Wednesday talking about the nitty-gritty detail regarding American serial killers. Why? Because it's so gosh darn fun, that's why. And today is a special day because we have a special guest, an expert in criminology, Bernice Nelson. Bernice, why don't you say hi? Hello. Happy to be here, spooking up a storm. Well, that's just great, uh, because today we'll be delving into the lives of men like Gary Ridgway, who murdered at least 48 prostitutes in Washington State. Woohoo! And we'll be answering deep questions, like, why did he do that? And that's just the metaphorical tip of the metaphorical iceberg. Over the next hour and a half, we'll cover the stuff of all American nightmares, from John Paul Knowles, the Casanova killer, to William Bonin, the freeway killer, and even John Wayne Gacy, the clown killer. That's a lot of killers. And of course, Lettuce Hands Larry. Uh, Who is Lettuce Hands Larry? You know, Lettuce Hands Larry. The man with two heads of iceberg where his hands should be. I've never heard of Lettuce Hands Larry. Ho, 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 then consider yourself lucky. Why does he have lettuce for hands? Well, according to some reports, it's cabbage instead. Then why is he called Lettuce Hands Larry instead of, for instance, Cabbage Hands Carl? Because his Christian name is Larry, of course. Uh, okay. Uh, now is always a good time to change the subject. <clears throat> Every serial killer has his own method of murder. Or her own method. Clementine Barnabet, one of America's rare female serial killers, and the leader of a religious cult, was known for slaughtering 17 sleeping victims with an axe. Hell yeah. Girl power. <laughs> Please don't curse on our podcast, Bernice. Other serial killers use strangulation or blunt force. Sometimes they slit your throat with a razor or hit you over the head with a lead pipe. Or sometimes they climb in through your window and choke you by shoving their lettuce hands down your throat. Occasionally, serial killers gain enthusiastic cult followings. Ted Bundy, for instance, received hundreds of fan mail letters complimenting his good looks. Teenage girls especially seem susceptible to the bad boy image. And of course, there's the sex cult of Lettuce Hands Larry. What? I can't believe I'm asking this, but how does his sex cult even work? Great question. When the teens want to summon Lettuce Hands Larry, they take a head of lettuce, warm it up in the microwave to body temperature, cut a hole in the middle, and- Can we go back to talking about normal things, please? Like murder? Sure. Lettuce Hands Larry committed quite a few. Lettuce Hands Larry is not real. Well, every urban legend has its skeptics, but I believe in Lettuce Hands Larry. I really do. Once, while violating quarantine, to take a midnight stroll, I saw him lurking in a spacious front lawn. I approached him carefully, like a baby animal. Only, he was a grown man, with lettuce for hands. Once I earned his trust, we shared many nights of incredible lovemaking. Eventually, he accepted me into his life, all All of me. Bernice, for the last time, Lettuce Hands Larry does not exist. Be careful. Your doubt only makes him stronger. (laughs) What? I am taking my hands out from under the table. Oh no, Bernice, there are beats where your hands should be. Put those things away, God help me. Yes. You guessed it. 
It is I, Beat Hand Bernice, the wife and lover of Lettuce Hands Harry. We didn't guess that. Oh no, now the lettuce guy is here too. And he has a knife. He's Lettuce Hands Larry. Hi everybody, hey, thanks for having me on your podcast. And now, Lettuce Hands Larry and Beat Hand Bernice are gonna turn the two of you into chopped salad.